welcome back to another Instagram cookie review. Today we are going to be reviewing My Cookie World, PDX Cookie Company, and Fat and Weird Cookies. I actually ended up forgetting my notes on My Cookie World cookies, so insert different clip now. Hey, Future Tiffany here, going to quickly go over the My Cookie World cookie facts now that I have them. When I ordered them, I did it on an overproduction drop, so they actually technically have two drops. Only one of them is set, which is going to be every Thursday, and then depending on how many they make, they can do an overproduction drop a couple days later, which they do announce. I actually didn't get it on an overproduction drop. What ended up happening is I followed them on Instagram, and they had this Heath Bar cookie, and it looked so good, but they had already done the drop, so I was like, hey, when's the next time we're going to be dropping? Because I want to be a part of that drop. That looks absolutely delicious. And she was like, I actually have a couple left over. Would you like to buy them right now? And then I think like two days after I got mine or purchased mine, they did an overproduction drop. So if you reach out to them and are like, hey, that looks really good. Do you happen to have more? Or when's your OP drop? They were pretty fast responding to me as well, or you can wait if they announce an overproduction drop as well. So that was actually really, really cool. I like that. So the cookies did have individual prices. I'll have those listed down below. I ended up getting them, I think, on Friday is when I ordered them, and then I got them four days later. So this has been the fastest shipping I have received so far, which I think was also awesome. So they have their regular drop dates on Thursday, they sometimes do overproduction drops, and I get them pretty quickly. Now that all the fun part of this video is out of the way, let's get into the actual cookie testing. So I, I do have someone joining me today to test my Cookie World cookies. Hello! Unnecessary extra. Good. That's what I bring to the table, guys. Yeah. All right. So this is how the My Cookie World cookies come. Just normal shipping box. I do really like that they come in little baggies, though. That's different. So basically, these little baggies, these are half pound cookies. They have the name of the cookie and then also their website and their Instagram. But all the cookies do have this little allergy information labels, which is actually really nice. Again, love that they come in little baggies, really easy to take them in and out. Ferrero Rocher was a dark chocolate chip and rice crispy filled cookie with Ferrero Rocher in the middle. So I, again, I forgot my um, notes. So I heated these up for 30 seconds. I don't know as of right now if that was the appropriate amount of time to heat them up, but they seem pretty warm, not too hot. Cheers, cheers. Oh my god, chocolatey. That's really chocolatey. I mean, that was part of it. Yeah, so there was a Ferrero Rocher. There you go. There was one in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it had more. It just tastes like a chocolate chip cookie to me. Like an overload chocolate. Like chocolate overload. Let me see if I can get like a little tasting of just like the base. I can't. There's too much chocolate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, basic. Like a dark chocolate. Yeah, yeah I think there's only one Ferrero um, Rocher. You want to try that? It's probably like the chocolate part. I got more of the crust, the crispy part. I found the hazelnut. No, I found him. That looks like there's a shell. Oh, there's part of the shell. Yeah, that part of the shell was like a little soggy. So yeah, <clears throat> just one for a Rocher. Other than that, just tasted like a dark chocolate cookie. The base I felt like was really crumbly. Like it just fell apart. And the base dough, I don't know, I didn't feel like it really had flavor. I just felt like, oh, I can taste dark chocolate. Like just doughy with like a lot of chocolate. Yeah, just, just a dough with a ton of chocolate in it. All right, out of 10, what would you rate that? I mean, I love chocolate, so I would just rate it. So for the cookie itself, because I like the chocolate, I would say maybe like a seven out of 10, but it being over for Chiffre Rocher. Close enough. Four out of 10, because it wasn't really like, yeah. you didn't get that. As a cookie, yeah. I agree. I would also put a seven out of 10. For being marketed as Ferrero Rocher, I'd give it three or four. I like that, three or four yeah. out of 10, because there was only one, and the, like the textures, the hazelnut, the crunch, you don't, the, it you get that crunch in the middle. But the one, you get yeah. the Ferrero Rocher. You don't get it throughout the whole cookie. It's just basically a chocolate chip cookie. So. The Heath Bar cookie was a Heath chocolate and toffee mixed in the batter, filled with a chewy caramel. That is just... It's fucking hard. Oh my god, smell it. I can smell it from up here. That smells amazing. I wouldn't necessarily say I heated it up too much. I think that caramel in the middle just... Ooh. I'm excited about this one. Peace with all the caramel. Oh my god, the caramel is so warm. Ah. Cheers. 
That's fucking delicious. 10 out of 10. That shit was good. I got, well, the first piece I had literally had a whole ass heat bar in it. And I okay. Like, I like crunched down on it. It was perfect. I didn't get any crunch. For me, it's that same crumbly, no flavor in that base. The caramel was good. I did get a bit of heat bar crunch in that second piece I took. But no, like the caramel obviously tasted really good. The crunch was nice. So I'd probably give this one... 7.5 out of 10, just because th there was no flavor in the base and it was just so crumbly. I mean, yeah. It was not a good base. Probably yeah, I was gonna say, personally. The, the dough itself, I mean, it's like the first one, it's, but like, taste-wise, if you get all the stuff in it, it was the fact that The fact that you need all the, the stuff, filling yeah. for it to be considered good, that's why I'm rating it a little lower. Yeah, I probably But I, I, I personally do really enjoy the cookie. Yeah. I would eat that. In our regular chocolate chip cookie, which was milk and dark chocolate chip and toffee mixed in the dough. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, oh my god, do you see that? Again, just a lot of chocolate. It literally tastes like the first one. Except there's like milk chocolate to balance out the dark. Yeah. Yeah, I thought this was supposed to have toffee pieces in it, from what I can remember. I didn't get any toffee. I do have to say, I like this better than the Ferrero Rocher, because oh, I'm not a big dark chocolate fan. Mm -hmm. Like, it's fine, but I do like having the milk chocolate come in. It gives it a really nice balance, I think. Mm -hmm. So I think I'd give this, I want to say it's in between. Like, it's better than Ferrero Rocher, but not better than the Heath Bar one. So like 7.3, I think, is right in the middle. Give it like a... 6.5. Dough is still crumbly. I think that's just their base dough is just a crumbly dough <laughs> that really doesn't have much flavor. Tres Leches was a two milk based dough filled with Dolce de Leche, which was the third milk. So this looks like a sugar cookie base, more golden, and I feel like I feel like there's more cookie. Oh, I'm so full. Oh, yeah. I like this dough better. Oh yeah, no, it's good. My tummy is just upset. <laughs> She also did just eat breakfast, so. I, I feel like it's only slightly better. Dough-wise, like, it, it's just like one notch up, but this, the consistency of the dough is much better. It is holding up together so much better. I'm not really getting any flavor from the Tres Leches, though. Yeah, it was like okay. I mean, yeah, the dough definitely was a little bit better than the other ones. The dough's better? I'm really not getting any flavor from the Tres Leches, which is kind of disappointing. It's very doughy. We finally get a decent dough and then the filling is just, just meh. Yeah, so there's like nothing really there. Not a very filled cookie. I'd probably rate this a 7.3 as well. I think I would prefer the all that chocolate over this. Yeah, over this if I had to choose. So overall, my cookie world, would I order again? No. That's it for my cookie world. We are gonna go to our next cookie company, PDX Cookie Co., which very excited. I got to order during their Harry Potter week, so we definitely have some magical treats coming your way right now. All right, we are here for cookie number two, or cookie company number two, and this is going to be the PDX Cookie Company. So for PDX, like I said, these were a Harry Potter themed because I did end up ordering these the last week of July, and for those Potterheads out there, you'll know July 31st is Harry's birthday. So a lot of cookie companies actually did a Harry Potter themed week. So I end up getting PDXs and I'm really excited to try these cookies. So we're just gonna try them. So this is the box that they came in. This is by far the best packaging that I have seen for a cookie company. It's not just like they're in little bags. The whole box is just absolutely adorable. And I'm someone who loves packaging. So when I saw this come already, I was super excited to try them. Let's look at the cookies. I do have to say, there was supposed to be four. Um, for those of you that have not seen my video of my post-show update video, I will link that down below if you do want to check it out. But I did go through a phase in like the first two and a half weeks after my show where I was kind of binging and I would just get these cravings and just kind of go wild with them. Mostly, I, I was able to just eat what was ever in my house. I never went out and ordered or went to a grocery store or anything like that. But unfortunately, the fourth cookie, the three I'm about to try were over at David's. The fourth one wasn't mine because I had ordered them separately. So 
the one that was in my place I did end up eating. It was the Mrs. Weasley's English Toffee. And all I can say was it had some cinnamon. I do remember, I think there's a cinnamon Pop-Tart in it. And I definitely could taste some cinnamon. I don't think I remember the texture of a cinnamon Pop-Tart. But all I can remember is just like just white chocolate chips, basically. Like I felt like it was a cookie dough that was just stuffed to the brim with white chocolate chips. And then there was like a dollop of what I'm assuming was a toffee, or I don't know what the dollop on top was, but it was like a weird, like a soft laffy taffy kind of texture. But yeah, mostly I just remember tasting a ton of white chocolate chips. So that was a little disappointing, especially considering I was expecting a toffee cookie. But I'm hoping the next three that we're about to try are really good because they sound like really, at least, especially the orange champagne one. I'm really excited to try that. So I think we're actually gonna go there first. And another thing I do wanna mention, I did try the My Cookie World cookies heated up. When I went and had them as little treats throughout the rest of the week, um, I didn't heat them up. I ate them straight from the refrigerator and I did like them slightly more. At least the ones that didn't have like a chocolate base, like the heat bar one, I liked that a lot more. When it was refrigerated, the chocolate chip ones were better heated up. But you know what, I'm gonna actually try these cookies straight from the refrigerator instead of heating them up. Because from the other video I did, I just seem to like them a little more when they aren't heated up. So definitely if you do try and get cookies, try some heated up, try some not heated up because that actually seems to really play a big difference. So for these, they do come in a regular like plastic packaging. They're folded over and then they are closed with a sticker. And the sticker says what the cookie is and what it's what's in it, and then also has all the ingredients underneath. The mimosa cookie, which was $5. It's a champagne cookie base, white chocolate chips, orange creme cake bites, champagne orange buttercream, and maraschino cherry. So I did order this a while ago. They've been in the freezer for some time. So it does look a little messy, but it did look a lot better when I first got them. I'm also filming in my room because my roommates are home and they're using the living room and I didn't want to make them be quiet or have to go into their rooms to film. Film, so all right so it smells like an orange creamsicle maybe a little orange soda -y. maybe all right let's try this is definitely more creamsicle I'm not really getting any maybe an aftertaste no I think it's just creamsicle I think that's all I'm getting this is really nice though sweet it's a very sweet a lot of orange creamsicle flavored desserts i've noticed tend to be very sweet so if you're not looking for a super sweet soup i mean obviously this was a special release pdx cookie co does have a regular menu which is available all year round and it's not specifically on thursdays when they drop uh they seem to be available all week long depending on how these turn out because i ordered the harry potter ones i didn't want to order the regular ones i was going to do the regular but i mean Harry Potter, come on, I have to. So if you are looking to try something but none of the specialty flavors are looking very interesting, they're basic flavors. I can't remember. <laughs> I'll have them down below for you if you wanna check it out. So the next cookie we have is the butter beer flavor, a butter rum cookie base, white chocolate and butterscotch chips, and it is stuffed with a hunk of butter cake. This smells like straight up butter beer from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Oh my God. It's potent. Ah! We're good. All right, here we go. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm assuming that's the rum. Butter rum cookie base. Just the rum cookie base? Oh my god. There's an aftertaste of butter beer. I could taste the white chocolate chips, but I'm assuming, as right as I've been into it, I kind of smell like nail polish, and now I kind of have an aftertaste of nail polish, and it initially tasted like nail polish. I'm assuming that's the rum. I wish the rum was gone. Mm -mm. I'm just I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> then we have the sorting hat cookie. A chocolate chip cookie stuffed with a house color sorting hat cake pop dipped in chocolate with sprinkles. I'm really excited about this one because that cake pop in it is going to basically sort me. So whatever color it is, it's what house I'm going to be in. I'm hoping for Gryffindor. So I want, I want to be surprised with you. So we're gonna cut, we're not gonna look. All right, ready? What house is that? I can't see. Ravenclaw. I'm okay with that. I'll be Ravenclaw. I'm smart. It's tight. Right. I think this is one of my favorite. I'm gonna try and get a bite in with the, uh, the cake puff. Right. Let's do this. Mmm. That one bought. 
by far is my favorite. When I first been into it, I was getting kind of like a Toll House chocolate chip cookie bag. But then I think the chocolate frosting on the middle <laughs> or on top gave it something a little different. But the bite with the cake pop in the middle, with that cake in there, really good cake pop. This is my favorite cookie out of the bunch. I just realized, I don't think I rated these. Mimosa. Good base, good flavor. If you like orange cream school, I'll give that a 7 out of 10. I'm not going to retry the butterbeer one. That's a ew. I feel like I'm being mean. Should I take another bite? Alright. I'll do one just like the cake pop. Do one right in the middle. Alright. It's nail polish. No. So that's an ew out of 10. And then my little cake pop here, nine out of 10. And the English toffee from my rubber, I'd probably give that a seven out of 10 too. I think as a whole, other than the butterbeer one, and I think that's just because of the rum in the base, but everything else, I think the dough, it's a really nice dough. It's not bland, it's not falling apart. Granted, I did not microwave these, so who knows, maybe they are might be crumbly they taste really good as of right now i am ranking these above my cookie world would i order these again yeah i think i would like to try their original six i want to say it's the original six definitely want to try and they come in a pack they come in a pack of six so it's not like you can buy one here one there if you did just the specialty flavors you could just order one at a time shipping is obviously not going to change it's really nice not having like you have to buy five you have to buy this many you can just buy one now we're gonna go take a look at fat and weird cookies i do say i really really do love that name it's amazing <laughs> here's the box that it comes in it looks pretty tiny i think the cookies are the smallest out of the three that we've done so far so let's take a look on the inside oh. That is so cute. I love that. Okay. So yeah, these cookies are pretty small. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is basically the order and then it goes and tells you all the cookies. It lists all of the cookies that they sell normally. So this is their normal menu. Oh, okay. So not just the normal menu. It also has the specialty flavors that they offer this week. That's cool. No one's done that before. I guess I didn't have to take notes. And then looks like you have like a little, little decal. Oh, wow. I do have to say this brand has the best packaging so far that is so cute it actually has the name on the back and then it lists the ingredients that's really nice all right i'm loving it this is great i'm super excited about this now Ooh. so i ordered four i didn't get any of the specialty flavors these are all their originals because none of the specialty flavors really interested me so you know you mess up your original go-to og flavors there's no coming back from that what am i going to start with let's start with the bread an oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie loaded with semi-sweet chocolate chips and giant chocolate chunks. So this kind of sounds like a pretty basic, normal cookie, other than the oatmeal base, but again, oatmeal is still pretty basic. I mean, it makes sense because, you know, brats are basic. It smells nice. So I did have these in the refrigerator, but yeah, that kind of fell apart when I was cutting into it, which I don't think happened with PDX when I cut into them. I think they may have been a little softer coming out of the refrigerator as opposed to like this hard, but let's give it a try. Okay, I think to me, this is like very, very basic chocolate chip cookie, but then you know when you have oatmeal on something you get the chew when you get those pieces of oatmeal it gets very chewy i definitely get that here and there i don't know i think i would think this was a chocolate chip cookie as opposed to an oatmeal cookie but you do get those chewy oatmeal bits you know, the oatmeal is not not very present just a little bit i think i might heat up the other ones just a little bit all right let's do big booty dough next Ooh, that smells very, very vanilla. So this one is a Funfetti cake flavored cookie loaded with white chocolate chips, cupcake bites, party sprinkles, and stuff with the cake pop core. All right, so I heated it for 20 seconds. That cut like butter. The smell of vanilla is just assaulting my senses. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. It smells so good. All right. Mm, this is amazing. Oh my god. If you love like the birthday cake flavor, like birthday cake ice cream, stuff like that, you're gonna love this. Oh my god. Ooh, this is dangerous. 
Mmm. The 20 seconds was perfect. It's still hard on the outside, but it was nice and soft, not melted on the inside. Wow, that was really good. I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. I was really good. But yeah, the cake flavor is super, super present. I didn't think it was too sweet. The other people, like I think my roommate, she would think that is too sweet. So if you are super sensitive to sweets, might not be the one for you. But if you're okay with sweet and birthday cake flavor things, that is the cookie for you. Oh my God, yay! Just in case I didn't say, the Brad, I'm gonna give a seven out of 10. I kind of wanna heat that one up though. I'll see how. I have two more cookies to go through. Let me see how I feel, and then we'll do that. What next? Black Beauty. A black cocoa base with white chocolate chips, cookie sandwich chunks stuffed with the cookies and cream bar. Very easy to smell the chocolate on that. The chocolate's coming off of my hand. All right, I'm really liking this 20 second thing because it completely held its shape on the outside. Let's cut into it. A little crackling on the other end. This one was a little more crumbly biting into it. The chocolate base is nice, and I feel like I'm getting very little of the white chocolate or the cookies and cream, but kind of like the oatmeal and the bread. It's there, but it's not like super present, and it's also just staining and crumbling on my hands. This side looks like it has more like, of the white chocolate, so it doesn't seem the distribution is very even. Good flavor though, not too intense chocolate, even though I felt like I mostly had chocolate. Definitely wish there was a little more of those, that cookies and cream that I really, really love. But overall, good cookie. I'd probably give it, I'm torn between doing 7.5 and 8 out of 10. Um, I think I'll do the 7.5 just because I was missing a little more of that cookies and cream, a little of the white chocolate in the half I got. Now, this other half may have all of it and it may be an eight out of 10, but if it's gonna be unevenly distributed and you can only fully enjoy part of a cookie, I feel like that might be some points off. So we're gonna go 7.5 with this one. Save the best for last, we're going to the Big Sexy. It's a chocolate chip caramel cookie stuffed with a salted caramel core. All right, so I feel like on first sniff, you think chocolate chip cookie, which it is, but I think, what does that remind me of? Is it the caramel? It's reminding me of like a, like a cookie cake. Does cookie cake smell different than normal cookies? Wait. It makes sense to me. It smells like a cookie cake. If you don't get it, I'm sorry. If you get it, sweet. <laughs> All right, I'm so excited. I love caramel. All right, let's go. That was actually a really, really nice chocolate cookie. The base had a lot of flavor. Chocolate chips weren't too overpowering. The caramel just added a really, really nice element to it. I think I would give this one, I think I'd do an eight out of 10. It's nice, but it is still a chocolate chip cookie. It's the most basic cookie or one of the most basic cookies you can do. So I think like my base for a chocolate chip cookie is like a seven out of 10. If it's a seven out of 10, it's like, it's basic, nothing special, like it's good. That's like the baseline. So even though eight out of 10, it sounds like I'm not giving it like the best review. That's like a step above average, in my opinion. So overall, I think Fat and Weird is a really good company. The cookies were all really good. I do have to say they were all really good, really enjoyable. There wasn't anything that I was like, mm. would I order them again? Yeah, I would order it again. I would definitely want to try some of these specialty flavors because even though none of the ones that they had available when I purchased them interested me, there have been some in the past that looked really good and then they still have some of their, I think these were four out of the six OG flavors they usually do. So the two other OG flavors, I think one's like a s'mores one, the other one is like an animal party and I love animal party, like those animal frosted cookies, love them. So I would definitely be interested in trying those, trying some of their specialty flavors. So after reviewing all of these cookies, which brand would I say is the best? I'd probably have to say Fat and Weird was my favorite out of all of them. And I only say that because PDX, granted, I personally don't like rum, and that's probably why the Butterbeer rated so low. But they did end up having a cookie that I really, really didn't like. Granted, that is a personal preference, but thinking over it, I feel like these in total, just even taking out that Butterbeer one, these in total, I feel like just were a little nicer, but PDX is not is not far behind. My cookie world, it, that base, it was just 
it wasn't for me. So I do think Fat and Weird comes out on top. I know last time I did this, I was listing like all the ratings and all like specific details about the brands. I didn't want to make this video super super long. So I think from now on, I'm just going to have all that information down below. If you are interested in just how long it took to ship, how easy it is to navigate their Instagram page, how easy it is to order, all of that, all of that information can be found down below in the description. Definitely go check that out if you are wondering and you want to get into more details about the brands. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next week. Bye!